Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update and uh, run you guys through our bell siphon, or, or run you guys through the external bell siphon uh, workings, uh, just kind of show you how, how we did it. Um, the system's almost done. You can see I have uh, this this bed right here is completely finished. Those two back there uh, have just enough rock so I can adjust my levels with my standpipe and then uh, fill the rest in with some rocks because I, I want the water to come up about two inches above or two inches below the surface of the, uh, the first layer of rock. So anyway. First thing I'm going to show you is our drain. Um, this is this is a bulkhead adapter uh, uh, that goes down to our piping to our external bell siphon, and this is a storm drain cap or cover or whatever. Uh, and we just cut the bottom uh, the, the bottom length off a little bit and uh, sit right over that, so that the uh, no rocks can get through and uh, works pretty well. We have them in all, in all three of the drains, and uh, it, it works. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys the underneath, and uh, I'll do that right now. Okay, this is the cap on our external bell siphon. See the bulkhead adapter here. We have a 90 degree um, fitting, uh, one inch. Everything's one inch. Um, this is threaded. Uh, we have some pipe tape in there to keep it from leaking. Um, and then this follows down the drain to a manifold, which connects that external bell siphon there. Uh, this comes from our our bed. To, it actually fills up the bell siphon here with this with this adapter, fills the bell siphon up or bell siphon up, goes with the up and over the, the lip of the standpipe and down the drain to our sump tank, which is over here. Same thing with these. Uh, they come down this piping and down into the sump tank, which probably has some water. In it. Can't really tell, but that's our that's our pump right there with our float. Uh, right now, it's it's rigged to just shoot the water out the window because we're just cleaning out this gravel. It's been sitting on the side of our house for uh, about four months now, and uh, it's pretty dirty. So um, that's the plumbing of the bell siphon, and uh, I'll go. Okay, this is the actual bell siphon itself. Um, uh, here it is. Uh, it's just um, it's a three-inch bell siphon. Uh, with a uh, little nipple or whatever on the top to connect our intake hose, which we did we did need uh, on this one, and um, that's the that's the hole and that's where the tube comes out. And it seems, I mean, it was just kind of a guesstimate, and it seems to work great. So uh, I'm really happy the way with the way this turned out. So the water in there, you can see that there's water in this bed, um, comes up. It fills it, as the as the tank fills, water comes up over the standpipe and goes down the drain, and it initiates the siphon once uh, all the air is sucked out of the tube. So that's how that works. Our uh, our holders, these things work great. Um, I never I've never done anything with pipe or anything like that before, so I'm kind of a you know, it, it, all this is still kind of new. But the, but these little adapters, these um, brackets, these are uh, <laughs> these are really cool, and they they help give our our beds a little bit of strength with this metal too that's screwed in. So okay, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys our lights. Okay, so this is our lighting system. Um, it's it's a six it's a six bulb uh, fixture, 32 watts. It's a T8. Um, the T5s are a little bit out of my price range right now, but I don't know if you can even see that. But there is six there is six 6,500 Kelvin uh, 32 watt bulbs in each, and uh, th 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 they are on a an adjuster, so I can level the height all the way down to the bottom of the bed, or all the way down to the rocks if I wanted, or anywhere in between, and that's how we're going to adjust our height, or adjust our levels on our plants that will be growing in this. And uh, I'm pretty, uh, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. I can't wait to get it, to get it up and working. Okay, so piping. Um, this uh, th this pipe with the valve on it, right here, runs from our pump, which is currently sitting on the ground right here, uh, with with a, uh, <laughs> an adjuster to uh, adjust the flow, a res reciprocator, or wh whatever. Anyway, um, so the, the the water will come up through the pump, through through this hose, down the line, and to this manifold that's going to split the flow up into four, uh, four different ways to fill the beds up sim simultaneously. Uh, once the, the bells fill up and go to the sump tank, you can see this line here that is not currently connected, but it, it will go down into our tank to return the water from the sump. From the sump tank, get it. From the sump tank. Uh, from the sump tank back up to the to the uh, uh, fish tank uh, 
that's hopefully cleaned and uh, you know ready for the fish. So uh, anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this, this, this is just kind of an overview of the bell siphon and of the external bell siphon and, and, and an update on our system in general. But um, I will update you guys again, as you can see, hopefully either today, tomorrow, or the next day, on a uh, working system, a cycling system. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll update you guys again.